you know, it's like, okay, way you can equip is different, uh, how you can attack is different. Um, and then it's like, all right, whatever, it's there extra enhancements from different ways to move around the world. And so that's where, uh, yeah, I mean, the idea of mounts came about because of Final Fantasy, because overland travel. Uh, you know, so essentially it was vehicles, but there was uh, the use of animals. Uh, the... What else, what else? Uh, there... Let's see, by the time I went to Final Fantasy three English, uh, it's like six Japanese. Uh, well, five, five, five Japanese had uh, different classes, which was a different one unique thing. Uh, two English had just a really neat story. That's what like, a lot of people liked about it. Uh, but it was six Japanese, three English that um, had a really neat, com uh, compelling story. And then on top of that, uh, just a lot of different uh, in ideas and environments. So like the game world changed. Uh, there's a lot of different modes of, uh, uh, or like different little mini games you could try. And then uh, you know even your main character could change. Uh, so and then. The other idea, or like they really were adding the idea of like, okay, enhancements uh, while you're playing. So, uh, let's see, after that, uh, then I had seven, which was on, so three was, you know, three English was on the Super Nintendo. Uh, seven came out on the PlayStation. And so that really just opened up, you know, what could be done. Uh, the game world became 3D, and they had like isometric kind of camera uh, view to it. And then um, just a lot of different movement, a lot of different bosses and uh, people, and you know, just things you could do. So that was like really immersive, immersive thing. And then uh, <laughs> it just became more and more wacky, and more just weird and unique. But uh, that was the appeal. Yeah, just, you, you know, <laughs> we'll give it a few shoes Oh, come on! I've had a long day. I've, I see my memory's kind of really weak right now. I've kind of lost it, sorry. All right. But I'm, I'm, I'm coming up to Edmonton, and I'm just going to sleep outside of the office. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going up to Edmonton. Yeah, a couple guys up there. Because we got an exclusive hands-on demo of Little Big Planet coming up. You don't want to miss this event. Look at that. Here's most wanted games. I'm so excited we actually have it here. I know it's great. Plus we'll go hands-on with Deadly Creatures, the new Wii game. But do you know why, Olivia? And attacked by other insects. It's very dark for Wii game. You guys want to check that out. Watch the best of our E3 OA coverage whenever you want, starting tomorrow, July 17th. Look for G4 on demand on the channel lineup. Check out g4tv.com slash VOD for more info. You guys stick around. Take a time out from your busy day and sing cool stuff and collecting free t-shirts and pens to do with that report. Now, earlier in the show, we asked you, what are you going to focus on in Little Big Planet? Our Brainiacs have tallied the scores. It looks like 43% of you want to act silly with your friends. That's pretty good. I'd like to do that, too. You guys, let's send it over to Adam right now. I like acting silly with my friends. Of course, I can't act any other way. Anyway, g4tv.com. <laughs>